Champions, Champions, ole, ole, ole. Eddie Howe's mags have gone to Saudi Arabia and we've just continued where we left off. 5 0 win and a trophy in the cabinet. So let's take a look at the positives from the game and the positives from winning that trophy as well. So that's what we're going to go through. So stick around. <laughs> Well, welcome back to another video on Black and White Banter, Newcastle fans. I say welcome back. If you are new to Black and White Banter, you've never seen my face before or even heard of the term Black and White Banter, please just stop what you're doing now. Whack that like button because it doesn't take very much. And it's, you know, it's Christmas. It's nice to be nice at Christmas. It goes a long way for me and get Black and White Banter across all social media. I post on there every single day. And if I do say so myself, a lot of my content on there is pretty funny, as my thousands of subscribers now and followers would agree to. So please do that now, and if you like my opinion by the end of this, whack the subscribe and you'll never miss a video that gets put out. So as I record this video, as I said at the start, Newcastle United are the Diria Season Cup winners 2022. So I don't know whether you had a day off, a, a day at work planned tomorrow, a day at school... A stressful Friday planned. Ring your bosses, ring your gaffer, ring the headmaster of your school, give them a ring and say, Do you know what? I can't come in because I'm out celebrating this cup win. Trophy in the cabinet. Well, not really. It's a friend it's a friendly trophy, but hey, as a Newcastle fan, you've got to take every podium trophy uh, presentation where you can get it. But hey, there was plenty of positives to take away from that. Now, before I talk about the game, I did only watch the second half. So it's a bit frustrating that I'm talking about the game without without watching 45 minutes of it. But I was at work. I dashed straight back in the house. I actually watched it walking back into the house on my phone and put it on the TV when I got in. So I missed Joe Linton banging in goals for fun, which was amazing to see. We all know what Joe Linton offers us in midfield with his aggression. He's breaking up a player. He's... He's um, openness to be able to play so many different positions, and he's the way he can charge for. He's just you know he's an all rounder. But the one thing it would be nice to see him add more to his game of would be goals. I did see the goals, lovely back post header from a Jacob Murphy cross, charging through one on one for his other goal, um, putting it just in the bottom corner under the keeper. Hey, long may that continue. But generally speaking, from the second half performance that I watched. It just looked to me, although the fitness levels maybe weren't there, because, you know, the lads have been to, like, Dubai. I think Botman was in. Longstaff was probably in Betty Dorm. Let's face it, you know, <laughs> he's not a Dubai sort of guy, Longstaff. is. He's definitely more Betty Dorm. But, of course, the fitness levels aren't going to be great because they've had that bit of a break. But I saw the same intensity that we've we've known Eddie Howe's team to play this season for us so far that's worked so well. Even when we were 3-0 up and 4-0 up, we were pressing really high, maintaining the ball and going after more goals. I've said it on so many videos now. When we are in winning positions, all I've ever known Newcastle to do is just stop in the tracks and play for that win. So it's nice to see our form of defence almost being attack, dare I say. And yes, I know what you might be thinking as I'm talking about this game. It's only a friendly game. I'm aware of that. But I still think it's not a bad way to start our re re uh, season getting back underway. As we've got another friendly next week. This is the start of things now. With a 5-0 win. Defensively sound at the back. Clean sheet. Goals galore. And a trophy in the cabinet. I really don't. Um, and let's face it. I mean, I, I don't know who watched the match. Or any people watching this video did. They weren't the worst opposition. They had a Gallo. He came on as a sub in the second half. Former Watford and Man United striker. So, you know, there was there was experience, pedigree in there. And they did cause us a couple of problems at times. Um, Gillespie made a good save in the second half. Karayas, I missed his wonder save apparently in the first half on his debut, so I'll have to see that one back. So they did cause us problems, but we were just in total control. And may, again, I'll talk more about the second half performance. Almiron came on in the second half and he just continued where he left off as well. Lovely goal, cutting in on his left inside, taking a couple of men on, rifled it in off the post in the corner. Lovely second goal, taking it first time into the opposite post from across from the left-hand side. I don't know how many goals that man's going to get, but for him to continue scoring in these pre-season games is only going to keep him in that frame of mind to continue where he left off. Um, plenty positives. I thought Man Keogh, right back, was really sound all night. I know he's not going to get much game time in place of Trippier. Of course he's not. But to see someone who's a bit rusty around the edges 
uh, game time and minutes wise like him coming and do so well was a positive um, Botman apparently should have given away a penalty in the first half he was lucky not to but when I watched him play it was just classic Botman dictating things at the back um, it was amazing to see so many youngsters get a chance and a, a special shout out before I touch on the goal White who came on in midfield I thought he looked brilliant I really do he looked comfortable he was picking up good positions he was linking up play quite well he was keen to get involved and you know it's amazing to see some of these kids coming through and then for Stevenson to score with the fifth goal I mean imagine being him one of his first, it might be, I think that's his debut for Newcastle, to get the last goal in a game like that and then get on the podium for a trophy presentation with the first team must be amazing. So long may that continue that we see more academy prospects coming through, but it was nice to see some of them get so many game time. I thought Elliot Anderson, when he came on in the second half, looked really bright. Um, and yeah, I just thought it, it was weird to see that a team just almost pick off, pick up where we left off. And I thought with it being a friendly game, it might have been very drab. But I thought we attacked really well. We scored some good goals in the process. And we dictated play. And all I've ever known Newcastle to do in a lot of our fixtures this season, particularly at St. James's Park, is do exactly that. And then at the end of it, Lascelles gets to lift the cup. And I tell you what, you can laugh. And yes, your toes curl a little bit watching your team get a, 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 a friendly cup, of course. You know, with the with the fireworks and stuff, it is a bit cringe, and you can tell the players aren't really celebrating. It's like, oh, get us off the stage now. But having said that, it cannot be a bad thing, can it, for a team who are sitting third in the Premier League to be spending their winter break before the season commences, winning trophies, lifting trophies, celebrating with the fans in another country, bonding together in a country like Saudi Arabia, winning matches 5-0. This is all good for that football club. And obviously, you, you're watching... I don't know whether anyone else was the same. I'm watching the trophy presentation and I just can't I can't help but think I actually said to my I said to my girlfriend at the time when it was on, it's so weird to watch Newcastle on a podium lifting something. It is, even if it is a friendly cup, and you just kind of your brain just distances itself and thinks, imagine, just imagine if this was a League Cup or an FA Cup. But I don't think anything I've seen tonight can do that team any harm. I, I thought we were impressive going forward. Loads of the youngsters got to play. Almiron's continued where he left off. We had, we created plenty of chances. Bit sloppy in possession. Fitness levels. Eddie Howe's obviously going to keep working on. That's why there's another pre-season game at St. James's Park next week. But hey, Newcastle have gone to Saudi Arabia. We've scored five goals. We've lifted a cup. We've bonded as a team again. Probably got, got a tan. Bit of a chill in the pool. Bit of volleyball. Bit of table tennis in the process. Bit of chill for the lads when they aren't training. And we're going to come back better for it. No injuries that I'm aware of from that game as well, which is a plus. I know Joe Linton went off because he looked like he was maybe in the process of about to get a knock. But as far as I've read so far, no injuries, which is the main thing you you don't want from pre-season games. And I'm over the moon with that. Yeah, football is back. Um, Obviously, the World Cup is still going on. Come on, England against France on Saturday. But 5-0 in Saudi Arabia, I will take that all day and long may that continue. We've got Rio, Rio Velacano, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, on Saturday and then the business the business starts again with Bournemouth in the Cup. So please, Newcastle fans, if you have watched the game um, today, maybe you saw the first half, let me know what you thought of the first half because I didn't have the pleasure of watching that. Let me know just about the game in general. Do you think this is good for the team? Do you think that trophy lift can almost push the lads on a little bit more, or do you think it's just, you know, a bit of a hoo-ha? Big big load of something over nothing, really. Because um, obviously the exposure in Saudi Arabia, another thing worth touching on, is only good for the football club as well, and that's kind of what this match and that cup was all about, I believe. But yeah, let me know in the comments your thoughts, Newcastle fans. I love seeing comments come in, I'll respond to all of them. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. Hopefully England can do the business, but it looks like Newcastle are going to continue doing the business exactly like we did before this break. Howie, Eddie House, Saudi Mags, I'll say to that one, a trophy in the cabinet, five goals scored. Couldn't have asked for more really, could you? I'll see you on the next video, Newcastle fans. Howie the lads. (laughs) 